Hospitals across our force are gearing up to help combat COVID-19. Colonel Jason Sapenik, commander of 528th Hospital Center, speaks about the medical professionals doing what they're trained to do. This is what we've raised our right hand to do, to defend America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and all includes uh, viruses. And this is what we do as medical professionals, whether it's performing surgery, all the way to the researchers that are developing vaccines, and then those of us that will go forward and help support the community in this mission um, to offload patients that are not infected with COVID so that the, the local community hospitals can take care of COVID patients and create more beds. 31st Field Hospital Center is designed to provide health service support operations, providing an 88-bed hospital that is expandable to 240. Commander Lieutenant Colonel Dion Maxwell speaks on the importance of being ready. Well, this is a very unique time in our nation's history. Uh, with everything that's going on with COVID-19, it's very important uh, for us to make sure that we're always ready, uh, regardless of situation of circumstances. Uh, but with COVID-19, it's important for us to be prepared and our soldiers are well trained and prepared um, to support uh, the American people during this very tough time. Units across our force are doing their part in helping the overall mission. Uh, we're asking folks that are living on post or living in barracks on post as they can and are able to, to make appointments and donate blood because that's still a requirement. Again, we still have men and women deployed downrange and then we still have day-to-day -day emergency activities, uh, children being born, etc., where blood is required. Reporting from Fort Bliss, Texas, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Alon Humphrey.